Hi boys and girls, happy story time. For today's book is a really funny story we love reading at the beginning of the school year. And it is called, We Don't Eat Our Classmates. Hey Ken, don't worry, dinosaurs are extinct, so I can't eat you, I promise. This is just pretend. Thanks Penelope. All right, let's get started. We don't eat our classmates. Penelope Rex was nervous. Oh, I'm so nervous. It's not every day little T-Rex starts school. Don't be nervous, Penelope. You'll be okay. But, but what are my classmates going to be like? And, um, how many teeth will they have? This was very important information. Penelope's mom brought her a brand new backpack with ponies on it. I love ponies because they're so delicious. Yum, 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 yum. Well, Penelope's dad packed her 300 tuna fish sandwiches. They're my favorite, 300 of them. And don't forget, one apple juice. Oh, can't forget the apple juice, Penelope. Finally, the big day came. And Penelope Rex was very surprised to find out that her classmates were, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Huh? What? Children? Her classmates were children. They weren't dinosaurs at all. Uh, uh-oh. What's this, children? Well, Penelope decided to eat them because they are delicious. Penelope Rex, we don't eat our classmates. Spit them out right now. Nope, spit them out. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, she spit them out, but it was not the best way to start the first day at school. Still, Penelope was determined to have a good day. Ooh, sorry everybody, but you're so delicious. Okay, friends, you go over here. Penelope. Well, she tried to make friends at recess. Ooh, I know the slide. Okay, guys, you can go on the top right up here, like this, okay. And then I'll open my mouth. Uh, Penelope, that's not nice. We can't eat our classmates. Ooh. Okay, I painted a masterpiece. Here we go. Okay, see this picture? Yeah, you can go right in. Penelope, we don't eat our classmates. Oh man, let's try lunchtime, okay? She even gave Griffin a seat at lunch table. All right, Griffin, here's my sandwich and my plate and you can sit right here on my plate. Penelope! We don't eat our classmates. That's not a good seat for Griffin, okay? That's not gonna make any friends, is it, boys and girls? All right. Well, Penelope wanted, Penelope started to notice everybody was making friends except for her. Oh, guys, do you see Penelope? Hide. Ooh. I don't know. Let's build our blocks together. Oh, it was very lonely. Oh, I'm so lonely. That night when she got home, her dad asked her, how was your day at school? Oh, I didn't make any friends. None of the children wanted to play with me. <laughs> Penelope Rex, her father asked, did you eat your classmates? Well, um, maybe just a little. Penelope Rex, we don't eat our classmates. I know children may seem delicious and they're very tasty, but we cannot eat our classmates. They are people and they are the same inside as we are. Um, okay, I'll try harder tomorrow. That gave Penelope a lot to think about. Hmm, so I can't eat my classmates. But they're so yummy. The next day, Penelope tried really, really hard. But poor Penelope could not stop herself. Ooh. Ooh. Teacher, teacher, Penelope ate, Penelope ate William again. Penelope spit him out right now. It's not how you make friends. 
sorry, William. <laughs> and they were very afraid of her, except the goldfish, Walter. Hey, Walter, what's up over here? Penelope went and tried to make friends with him. Will you be my friend, Walter? Hmm, let me just stick my finger right in here and, okay. Oh, ow, jump, ow, ow. Oh my gosh, Walter bit me. He bit my finger, ow. Oh, get back in that bowl. Oh my gosh, that hurts so much. Once Penelope found out what it was like to be someone's snack, I did not like that. She saw that she she finally lost her appetite for children. I promise I will eat you. That was not fun. Yes, Penelope, we can't eat our friends. So she stopped eating her classmates. Good idea. Even when Cece decided to spill barbecue sauce all over herself at lunch. Ooh, Cece, you look so good, but oh, nope, I won't do it. Good job, Penelope. And soon, Penelope made friends. Here, guys, go down the slide. I'll help you. We'll go the right way. Wee! I even made some brownies for you. Okay, let's see, a little special brownie. Here you go, would you like a brownie? Oh, that was very kind, Penelope. It's a nice way to make friends. Now, even when children looked especially delicious, she peeked at Walter. Hey, Walter. Uh, please don't bite me again. And she remembered what it was like when somebody tried to eat her. And Walter the goldfish stared right back at her as he licked his lips. Mmm, dinosaurs, Walter thought. <gasps> no! Stay away from Walter, everybody. He will eat you. Because dinosaurs were delicious. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Ah! <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this story. We don't eat our classmates. Until next time, have a great night.